Hi everyone, welcome back to the Barbudo Family Channel. We are still in Fontane Bianche right now, but we decided to go to Teormina for the night. Like a ski lift. Yeah, you can take it and also while you come down or while you go up, the views are really spectacular. And it's very quick and easy to get from the bottom to the top. And also, while well, Ravenna and I have been there before, my mother has not been there, the kids have not been there, although Leo was there while he was in Ravenna's belly. And now we have baby Camila going in the belly for the first time. But before we get to Termina, we are going to make a short stop. I love making these short stops because I like to go into the small town where no American has ever been before. And so we're going to stop and find one of these random places and have lunch. So let's go find a beautiful little spot to eat. in the town of Fiume Fredo, which means cold river, and we're driving around the center, we don't see anything open. It is a sun deck, so we stopped and asked one of the men, one of the locals, and he told us that everyone is at the beach, so nothing is open in the center of the city, and if we wanted to find lunch, we have to go towards the beach. So that's what we're doing right now. We're going to look for the beach, and hopefully we'll find something open for lunch. We just found a place, but you can see the parking is actually dangerous here. We had to park on the street on both sides, and there's no sidewalk, and the cars are flying by us, so we have to be very careful. We just sat down, and this place is fantastic. First, there's no place to park. Second, there are no sidewalks to get into the restaurant. And third, they don't even cut the grass and put these plastic tables and chairs on the grass, the overgrown grass. And uh, now we have the cook in there, it looks like on a barbecue. So this place is exactly what I like to do, fantastic. Nobody speaks English, they're all looking at me like I'm an alien. So uh, I can't wait to have a, a beautiful lunch. So I ordered the home appetizer, which there's only one kind, so I ordered that. And then for main course, they have macaroni with ragu or penne with fresh tomato sauce, a little spicy. So here they serve only local wines. Oh, that is fresh. That is the freshest homemade wine I've ever smelled before. And here they don't use fancy glasses. They use little plastic cups, just how I like it. The color too, you can see right through it. Robe, you see that? Oh, that is so good. Robe, the children are too cool to have lunch with us today. Hey mom, what do you think of the place so far? It's what, you know, you would expect in a small town in Sicily. So Ravenna, we had a fantastic appetizer. Those peppers were the best peppers I ever had. They were really good, I love The them. onions were the best onions I ever had. You put that on the bread. When did we get here? About an hour ago? Yeah. And we're still an we're still waiting for our first here course. Another hour. Everything is slow here, you know, it's laid back. Why do you think it is, Ravenna, that you know it's been an hour and we haven't even got our first course? They just course. take their time. They let people eat slow. That's the way how they do it here. the restaurant and we had the most 
amazing lunch for three adults and two children. Antipasti, first course, second course, dessert. It was only 85 euros. The flavors were unbelievable. Everything was so fresh. The peppers and onions were the best I ever had. The watermelon was the freshest I ever had. The lamb was delicious. The meatballs were unbelievable. The kids loved it. And Ravena is very hard to please when it comes to food. Ravena, tell the truth. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. Not my favorite, but it, it was good. Yeah, it's, it wasn't Ravena's favorite because of the atmosphere, but putting the atmosphere aside, which I personally love, how was the food, Ravena? The food was good. You can tell it was organic and uh, very tasty. So, now that lunch is over, we continue our journey to Teormina. I dropped off Ravena and my mother and the kids up in Teormina. I came down to check into our hotel with the car. And I have to say it was the most difficult driving ever to get to the hotel. I finally got to the hotel because it's down by the beach and there's no parking at all. And I called the hotel, they don't even have parking. I can't even move around. Like you guys gotta see what I'm dealing with. This is absolutely crazy, absolutely crazy. Okay, let me try it like this. And then like this. Okay. Going for it. I'm going for it. Are you joking? Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Okay, this is what happened. I left this same lot a little while ago. I'm driving around this whole town in circles until I see a police officer. And I asked the police officer where I'm supposed to park. He didn't speak English, but he kept saying, Leisha Blue, Leisha Blue. I don't know what Leisha Blue is. So I keep passing this one spot. So I decided to come back in here and see if maybe one of the cars left. There was a motorcycle here. He was leaving. So I was able to get my car. This is my car right here. I was able to, to fit it into this spot. I just need to make sure if other cars come that they can get by. Now it looks like this space is large enough to get through. So I think I'm okay. But now I got to figure out how to pay for this because there's something like I have to pay at the, at the Machina, he said. I'll tell you, look at the beautiful beach right here. Look at that. For one hour, I'm driving around here. Some guy just told me it was free parking. So I left, but I don't trust him. And now I got to find our hotel. up in the mountains in the Terramina Centro area. So she says, Anthony, why don't you take the car and go check in? I wasn't happy about it. It was actually the best thing because the kids would not have enjoyed this, this whole experience. So she's up there. My mother's up there. They're pushing the stroller around and I had to come down here. And even though it's about five miles away, it should really only take five to 10 minutes. It took me about an hour to find parking, finally check in the hotel. Then I had to get a taxi. It took me another 45 minutes because all the taxis are full. Now I'm in the taxi. Ravana can't even push the stroller anymore. So, we, you know, it's a big mess. It's always a challenge when we travel in Europe, especially with kids. But uh, we'll make the best of it. We're going to go shop around in uh, Terramina for a little while. And then we have to come back down, shower, get ready for dinner, and then head back up to Terramina. But I'm looking forward to going back up to Terramina right now because it is really a magical place. I and mean, I can't wait to show you guys, so stay tuned. Finally arrived up in Terramina. Let's go find Rove and the kids and my mom. Alright. Hey guys, so we're on our way to dinner now. And yeah, we're I'm all... ready. 
We're all matching. We have I have a yellow shirt. She has yellow, yellow pants. pants. And Sophia has a yellow dress. And we're doing something else to match. See that? Let's show everybody my socks. This is Ronaldo, and this is Messi stealing the ball. Okay, well, let's go. Are you ready to go to the restaurant? Ready, ready, ready. Let's do it. Guys, we just got back to the hotel. We're very tired, and the Our kids' tongue tongues are blue. are blue. Cause we ate candy. Yeah, yes. cause I ate a big yeah, shot. Yes, your favorite just thing kidding. to do. Guess what's gonna happen? Do you want to have a lick of him? Okay, here it might and sound disgusting, but it's not. And here, here's a lollipop. <laughs> Here's a blueberry lollipop. Okay, okay. Why is it that we have to go to sleep now and be well rested? Because it's tomorrow? 2000 in the morning. Yes, it's yeah, very late. We have a beach day tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. And until then, Barbudo family, out. out.